Oh, I got this one, finally. This is my favorite one. <laughs> I like that. That's my favorite. Oh, got the Canehurst armor on, got the crown. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, uh, that's, that's oh, I love that bow. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, let's do this. Let's kick ass you're all take like, names. You're all like, uh, you're all like Canehurst up. Swung a little too much on that last one. All right, did you want to fight and kill the skull things on the way to the boss, or just run right to it? Doesn't mean, you know, we can't just run right by it. I already got everything in here, so. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. If you got everything there, we'll just run by him. All right. Yeah, everything here will probably be real easy because it's on uh, normal. <laughs> it's not on New Game Plus like in your game. So, yeah, so we'll probably just easily run through this. Oh, yeah. Alright, sweet. We're here. Oh. Get you in the back. Oh, crap, got me too. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this left side and try to run up there and kill the witches on my side. Okay, do you want me to go up or stay down? Uh, you can stay down. Okay. Because I have no idea how to fight him, so... Alright. I like how he's like not even paying attention to me, so I'm like just wailing on him. One of the witches dropped down. I don't know if I oh, you're actually fighting. <laughs> yeah. All right, one witch left. About to kill her. She's down here. Dead. Come on, stop throwing the tantrum at the end. Damn, I'm trying to get to his head, but he keeps turning. Like, what is he doing? Like, we're over here, buddy. There we go. Throwing up. Uh, I don't know. He's just. No, he oh, just. No. I thought he was. Yeah, I backed up too. <laughs> a little, little tantrum. He's mad. Wow. Reach. Oop. What is that? It looks like that sign's not gonna come down. We'll go around. Yeah, I'm gonna be all the way over here. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Sweet. <laughs> Yellow backbone? It's for the uh, chalice dungeons. Yeah. Yay, lamplight. Alright, did you want to keep going? Let's see, it's one. Oh wait, this might be a dead end. Uh, there's nothing but a worm back here. Oh uh, yeah, for a while. I mean, up to you. But yeah, I could, I could keep going just for like, probably for like a little bit more. Alright. I gotta make my way, actually. Oh no, I could kill the lamp. What am I talking about? I forgot I killed the boss. I forgot where that lamp takes you. I mean, not the lamp, the, uh, that room. Yeah, it took me to the you. lecture building. Oh, that's right. I believe you have to do that by yourself. It won't let you, uh... I don't think you can summon in there. It's easy, though. It's just basically, like... How the first floor lecture building was. You mm. basically on the second floor, so it's like a couple of items in there. Um, nothing really useful. It's just items. Like there's, I believe, an arcane item in there, um, and some enemies. Yeah, they got tons um, of enemies in here. Yeah. Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race. So what is this, like Hunter College? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, kind of looks like it. Um, I like the whole area though, like that we're in now, because I'm in the same place too. I'm about to make my way to the uh, lecture building. Um, I like the whole area, like you're gonna this area we're in the lecture building, and then after the lecture building, like I like the whole rest of the game. Mm. The, the areas are cool. I like the bosses. What's in this place? Sanitive. Eh. I notice I'm not taking nowhere near as much damage as before either. Bait on whether to buy the other piece of this armor and put it on, but then I'll probably be weak to like magic and all that extra stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, every armor is gonna have something that's strong and then some that's weak in, but um, I think the Kanehurst armor overall, though, is uh, pretty beef. Yeah, that's why I try to mix and match my pieces because. That way I'll be pretty much decent at all kinds of defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's smart. This is my thought. Bunch of these gooey guys. <laughs> yeah, I know, they look weird. It's they like have they don't have health. no bones. Well not a lot of health. They actually take three hits from me to kill one. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Oh, that's a big guy. Just chilling in the corner. 
Oh, you're, you're over there. Um, if you go down that ladder... That oh, he's fast. Driving, he is fast. Oh, he's terribly fast and strong. Strong as in I should not fight him strong, or...? Um, let's just say I, I've avoided him on several occasions. <laughs> But then there's sometimes where I'm like, nah, I'm like, like, screw that, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna take him on. But he can be a handful. Well, he hasn't hit me yet. Okay, so he's not too strong. I, I can probably take four or five hits from him. Okay, that is a new attack. Okay, I can take two hits of that. <laughs> It's not the okay, button I want. Okay, run away. I got I got to run away for right now. I mean, I could probably fight him, but it, I would waste all my stuff doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like what I mean. Like, I mean, he could be easy, but I mean, you know, like for what he drops, it's not like all he, I think all he drops is like uh, a bloodstone uh, or something. He wouldn't let me run away. I was trying to sprint away from him, and he like charged into me twice and killed me. I hate that when you choose to, like, run. Well, oh, well. At least I'm right there, so it's not that big a deal. I'm gonna try just, to fight him. I just gotta hope he don't pick him up. Because <laughs> that would suck. Alright, let me see if I can run back and get him. Alright. Please, see if you I can guy. Take him on. You, you, you got my echoes, don't you? You know I should've went back. Uh, don't tell me he picked him up. I went back to where I died. I don't see him. Uh, please don't tell me he picked him up. I don't think the big guys pick him up if I'm mis okay. I could be his, mistaken. His eyes aren't glowing. That's a good sign. So where are my echoes then? It's kind of annoying it's sometimes in this game though, because sometimes your echoes could go to like other people like downstairs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's like killing all the other good guys, and that's what I think what might have, what, what might have happened. Because I have yet to see it. Okay, goo guy has him. Okay, there we go. Thank you, game. Thank you from software. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for not giving him to the big guy. Yep. Because I probably wouldn't have got him back. Actually, he dropped a, a, blood, uh, a blood chunk for me. Oh, yeah? Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. But I was going to say, um, go down the ladder that's behind him. Mm -hmm. Because you know, um, you could get a good, uh, a good rune. You'll get a good what? You'll get a, um, you'll get a gesture and a rune if you go down the stairs that's behind him. All right, you said that the guy has a ladder behind him. Yeah, he has like a. So it's kind of it's kind of easy to kind of like if you wanted to just like run by him and go down the ladder, mm. and then you'll talk to somebody down there and he'll give you a gesture, and then if you talk to him again, he'll give you a pretty cool that cool rune, that's like uh, fifteen percent more stamina, which never hurts. Alright guy, come chase me over here. Get away from the ladder. Why does this... This looks like a spider. You said there was a person down here. This is like some creepy stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, that's nasty. You can't He's a person spider. How did this come to pass? The hell are y'all doing down here, man? Hmm. Now, wait just a moment. So crazy, crazy you stuff. Me? me? Uh, no, I mean, just because just you're the head on the spider's body, I mean, I don't... No. Indeed, I should think not. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you witness to a miracle. And all the stronger for it. You should appreciate it. If you have a grain of gratitude in you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> you gave me a gesture. You, you didn't really give me anything really important, dude. Wow, he is cracking himself up. No matter. <laughs> Did he Such give you a room? We're fast friends by now. Let this express. What words cannot? Yep, now I did. Oh, doubt me not, sweet Pompier. <laughs> what is friendship but a chance encounter? Yeah, and then from there it's up to you. You know, if you want to just leave him alone, or if you just find him that hideous, ah, you could kill him. My apologies, but I feel a profound thought occurring on the good grace of a certain god and the way he meted out his love. <laughs> ah, well met. My apologies. On the good. <laughs> hmm. I mean, he's creepy as all hell, though. But you know, how was that? But you know, I mean, he didn't like cuss me out or. Treat me bad, so treat friend with care, reeks of master, whatever the hell that is. So I guess what he does, because um, I just discovered this, um, it, there's this other place that you go to after you first visit the lecture building, I think it's called like Nightmare Frontier, mm. um, and I guess he hangs out, um, he's like hanging out in Nightmare Frontier, and he pushes you off a ledge into the swamp. So he like and tries to kill you. Yeah. You know like you know how like Patches does from like Dark Souls, like be pushing you off everywhere. Mm. Same thing. Like he's he's patches. So he pushes you off into the mud and that's why you, and then you could go talk to him afterwards and he kinda like laughs at you like you know, like that's why he says that line of like, Do you think ill of me? You know, it's because like I guess they didn't maybe alter his conversation to know if you've gotten pushed or haven't. Mm -hmm. He just kind of laughs at you anyways, and like he's like, "You don't think you know? You don't think ill of me, right?" And I was like, "We're buddies." So yeah. So if if prior, if you probably did get pushed, you might have like been like, "Yeah, I do think ill of you," and they should still give you the same stuff. But you know, I don't know. You might be a little bit more hostile towards him if you knew he pushed you off the ledge. Alright, kill them anyway. Just the fact that, uh, you know. That was a chance to be dropped, dear friend. Yeah, because he would have killed me, so. That's it, my decision. Alright, what do I get? Great one's wisdom, really? So all I got was insight? Oh. That does absolutely nothing. I thought he'd give you something good. No, here's some insight. It, like, it doesn't do anything. I mean, yeah, it lets you see, like, a couple things, you know, or let you see the invisible creatures, but it's like, other than that, it doesn't do anything. Well, I'm stuck and open this door now. Yeah, that is true. Um, I've, I guess somebody explained it, like, what insight does. And all it does is like it just has a little bit of effects on things like certain enemies will disappear, certain enemies will appear, and certain enemies will have like I guess buffs to their attack and stuff like that, but nothing like crazy like where you're gonna see a secret NPC or something, which I think they should have done. Yeah. Or either there was let's say a hidden door that leads to another area that, that only appeared if let's say you have like Yes eighty insight. You know, or something like mm -hmm. that. 
I think that would have been great because I think that would have added a little something to like, well, why do I need insight? Yeah. If I don't, I don't PVP. I don't do none of that stuff. So what do I need insight for? Well, if they would have added like, oh, well, to get to this whole area, you could explore and blah blah blah. You need like 80 insight. So obviously, it's like an end game, almost an end game area. I think that would have been really cool to mm. give people something to aim for. Or if, let's say, maybe the DLC they had hidden magical weapons, or let's say armor or something. And if you got to like a certain point in the game, you you didn't see it if you didn't have enough insight. You know, they wouldn't let you pick it mm -hmm. up. But then, if you had enough insight, you can actually see it to actually pick it up and use it. Definitely, I think they could have uh, done some cool stuff with the insight. You know, maybe we'll see something in the DLC. Oh, you know, or even hell, have like invisible enemies. That you have to fight at some point in the game, and if you have in, in, enough insight, you can see through their veil and actually see them and fight them. Hmm, that could be interesting. Uh, uh, uh sorry, fellas. Didn't mean to interrupt y'all's lecture. Made about y'all business. How you open that one where they're like, there's like 40 of them mm -hmm. just sitting in their chairs. And then just leading them all back to the door and just killing them all one hit. Really die with one hit now, so. How do they sit in chairs? They're all goo. I have no idea. Wow, I killed everybody in the room and this one guy's just sitting here chilling like, I don't care. Just kill me, oh, man. This lecture was boring anyway. <laughs> the one who doesn't get up, he's just like, eh. Ooh, chest. What I get? What I get? What I get? Augur of Ebertas. What the heck is that? Archer summons Ebertus. Who is Ebertus? It's a Zubidibidi. Well, let's see. See what it is. You're gonna be like, what the hell? What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, so I get like tentacles or something. Yeah. It's another arcane spell. That seems pretty cool. Might be better than the other one. Because the other one, I tried it on the bosses and, you know, and, you know, I haven't tried it against regular people, but against bosses, it didn't seem like it did anything, really. From what I looked up with the, with like, with those spells, like, especially like the, the one that you said you tried on bosses, is mm. that, um, it's used to s stun your enemy while you dash in and attack. It's like used more for like a stun, a t like a quick stun 